All right, so we're having a very warm day today. It's a little bit windy, but it's supposed to hit 60 degrees Fahrenheit today. This is a great day to go into the hive and actually make sure they have pollen. And I'm going to open up the other two hives that are certifiably gone, and I'm gonna see if I can find the queen, the queens in those hives to see if there, there were queens in there that just died or if the queens had taken off and then the, the hives died. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, sort of sleuthing to see what went on with those other two dead hives, and I'm gonna open up the what was living three days ago hive in the middle here and make sure they have pollen and fondant. So this was the cluster right here. I don't see any queen there. This is the other side of the cluster. I do not see a queen there. This frame still has honey on it, even though they are, they are inside the cells, and that's an indication of them starving or you know being very hungry and just digging in there. Uh, there's there's honey right here, so I guess I was wrong about the hive being empty. That's where the bees went. Whoa. All right, I don't see a queen, but I think I'm gonna try and bring this down and do a little closer inspection. So again, these bees are all buried inside, inside the cells. Uh, there's no visible queen here, but right here is all honey that they ignored. They were in there, buried in there, clustered, and the food was right here. More buried bees. peek in the hive that definitely has activity still. I want to just have a look at the cluster and I want to drop some pollen in here. That's the plan. Hello. Fresh pollen. All right, brand new pollen patty there. And they got plenty of fondant. Well, there's definitely a nice little cluster on the, the middle hive the 2014 queen hive. Uh, put some fresh pollen in there. There's plenty of fondant. Uh, we are in the midst of a, of a spring warm up right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. The nights are still cold, but the days are in the 50s to 60 Fahrenheit. And that's pretty amazing for uh, mid to late February. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, they're, they're wrapped up tight just like they were over the whole winter when we were having you know, sub-zero weather for several weeks in a row. So nights down in the 30s, probably aren't gonna do any more damage than what would have already occurred. So as long as I keep them fed, uh, it's looking like they might make it. My bee mentor Joe said there's a chance that the queen took off at some point and the bees were left queenless and then they die. 
Uh, it could have just been cold. I don't know. I did not see a queen yet in my little inspection up here. I'm going to go look a little closer out of the wind and really go through those, those dead bees and see if I can find a queen. So that's a good 30 minutes of searching for a queen. I don't see anything. Wow, you know what? I see a little blue paint on a piece of bee right here. That's part of the queen right there. So, looks like she was still in the hive when this hive died. The little nuke. So this is the bottom brood box of the flow hive. Completely empty, empty frames. No honey, no brood. Well, we do have a lot of pulled comb for the next bees that will be in this box. Whoops. Spoke too soon. So the bottom of the nuke is also packed. Quite a bit of honey in here. These frames are just junk. But there was a lot of food in here. That's all honey. Okay, so now I have a question. The frames that were in the flow hive have a mix of capped honey and some uncapped syrup here. And then we have these full Super heavy. This is probably 15 pounds right here of honey. Capped honey from last summer. And I don't know, really know what to do with it. I can't extract this for my consumption because this is mostly from syrup. These frames are just packed. Packed with honey. 25 pounds of honey right here with all these frames and those frames. Um, thing is, it's a mixture of some of the frames that the bees harvested and some are, uh, is from syrup. And I really, I'm not sure what to do with it um, because I'm gonna have in about two months, probably have some nukes or a package to put into the hive. And I would love to just drop these in, but is there a way to hold this for the next two months? That's the question. Do I put it in the freezer? Do I just leave it in a cool, cool location? Um, it's mostly capped. You know, it shouldn't be fermenting. Uh, some of the stuff is uncapped. Like, there's uncapped stores here. This is this is just junk. This is going to just be uh, scraped off, and I'm going to chuck these frames. I'll just render that wax. Just not sure what to do with it. Should I just crush it and leave it for the bees to, to go through? Should I extract it and give it to the bees, feed it to the bees? Or should I just put these right into the frames when I do get nukes? All right, so back to the curious case of the flow hive. Uh, I searched through this pile of bees for probably 45 minutes and I didn't find anything the other day. I came out today to just have a fresh look and I found this in the pile of bees. And that is a queen, but it is not the queen that was in there all summer. It's not marked and it looks small. And I'm thinking now 
that maybe my queen died and they were trying to make a new queen. And this almost looks like it was, you know, like just hatched or something. The wings aren't even fully formed. So that's the latest on the flow hive. Um, and yeah, it appears to me like maybe they were trying to make a new queen. All right, so if you have any suggestions on that honey and what I should do with those frames, please let me know. I would love uh, some suggestions, any ideas. Um, and yeah, kind of a sad day, but we are going to be getting some new bees. Uh, I'm already researching some local bees, uh, some possible Russian nukes, which sounds kind of funny, Russian nukes. But yeah, Russian nukes. And that's about it. So stay tuned. This adventure is not over. Uh, we're going to get started again in the spring. And it's feeling like we may have a bit of an early spring this year. But either way, uh, within two months, we're going to have some new bees up on the hill. And uh, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Thanks for watching.